What's up guys, Shwalia is here, and today, it's finally Zebram's turn to be awakened. They're pushing him back, I was going to push him back again for Shanna. I decided to awaken him, and what a great day it is to awaken. 50% off, a million gold, plus 30% off each min that you use to extreme today. Today is the perfect day to awaken, so I'm happy that I had these mats saved up. Looks like it was worth the wait, though. Hopefully. Alright. Let's hope this Zeb comes with a good talent. Time to get to the immortal Zebram. Alright, let's go. The guy just tears off his skin. I no longer need skin. And then he gets like shy. Really? I'm reading it. Uh, yeah. Sorry for, uh. Sorry for being speechless there. But, uh. I've never rolled a zone before. And I can know said that the oath better and whatnot, but. Never rolled oath before. That's. This is the one I. Wanted to. It's an early birthday present. <sighs> Great way to start the day. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to speak for the rest of this video, so this may be a little bit short. Cause that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay. Well, I'm... Maybe I'll hold off on that skin pack, because I wasn't going to roll them items. Because Prophecy Prophecy's still really good on Zeb, especially for Scenario. Well, mainly for Scenario. Ah. Awesome. I, I thought I had some extra runes. Oh, dang it. In my greed, I ate his runes. Sorry, Zeb. Sorry. They may have been, my, yeah, may have been one stars, but they were still runes. They had feelings. Whew. Okay, I, I had a bunch of stuff I was going to talk about here, but try What the heck is none? Huh? Well, come. I'm keeping that. I want. I want more of. Actually, I don't want none. I want all of it. All of the two star runes. Wait, where did none go? Oh, there it is. We'll keep you safe, none. Well, I don't have to do a reroll, so that's good. Oh, that's cool. Maybe this is what'll boost me to diamond three. Whew. Anyways, I gotta start. I gotta, yeah. So they launched the new update, the usual three day. I gotta, I gotta start talking here. <laughs> the uh. The usual three-day update with the gold discount on combinations, which is really nice. The I believe it comes with. I'm just gonna try to remember this. I'm gonna go back and double check. I'm gonna go through and read that. I'm just. I'm gonna look at this for a little bit. But with the discount on recombining your hero today, I know is the min discount. Well, something else. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and check. But I know that it's the main important. The ones that are at least important to me, and I think overall more important. Gold discount day one, then min update, and then evolution update, which is kind of annoying that it's like that, but I'm not saying like, I'm not saying that it's, it isn't a good event or anything. I don't want this event to be taken away. It comes around every now and then, every few weeks or so. But it's always the min update before the evolution. Some, probably some purpose behind that and whatnot, but... I just evolved this, but the min update was before. Not just the min update. I say the min update because she's a, a universal uh, plus 8 to 10. Any extremes. Okay, maybe I will do an item draw 
for a little deb here. That would be the best item, because it really doesn't need an accessory. And if I roll an accessory and it's good for someone else, then I'm not going to put them on them. I'm just going to keep it. I'm just going to keep the prophecy for now. But let's go look at that, because try and take advantage of this as much as possible. We'll start with the new one that launched later. Not later. Yeah, later last night, which is pretty nice. According to the notice, there was an error with the specifically, which is odd, the three-star Liliana rune. So if you haven't rolled that, don't do it. But apparently they are giving compensation for it, but it's probably around what they lost. So, I mean, but not worth going through the hassle if you have that rune. I guess just leave it alone for a while until they get whatever was wrong with that fixed. But they're trying out their new... This is really good. I'm glad they came out with this update with the rune system. Or the new ability to change the exclusive properties on a rune without losing that specific rune, which is nice. But the gems are the rewards are pretty nice. And if you didn't have a specific rune, let's just say you had a one one star rune, you're like, oh, this is stupid. I'm not going to reroll this rune. Still do it because it's like 13 to 20 gems. The first one was cheaper for the one stars. And then it got, I think the max went up to like 20 each for each one. And. You still make gems off just doing that, plus the 2 to 4 star draw, and 30 rupees, which is really nice. And then there's the sadder part, which I'm sure is going to come out eventually, or get relaunched, because Guild Battle's been down for about a week now. But I thought it was going to come out today, because I mean this event launched last night and Guild Battle was still down. But these rewards are also pretty nice. Keys, gold, rubies, gems, and another 4 star hat, so those are always appreciated. Oh wait. Not that it's interesting at all, but I just want to feed him. On the rainbow event, which is supposed to be down, so I went ahead and got all I could, because when, like, when it was going to end, so I didn't miss any rewards, and it was still up. So, okay, well, I guess they gave an extra day for people to spend the rewards in case they mixed it, or missed it. But it just says zero days, but it still got points when I was doing the feeding. I went back and was like, but I still have points. And then I was like, all right, let's, this is going to work. I'll try and spend it. Oh, sweet! Zeb, you are just... Ah. And then it worked. I'm like, what? Like, I acquired the points as well as being able to spin them, so... I got another four-star hat because of that, so that was kind of cool. Which is still up now. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing or not, but if I'm sure if it wasn't supposed to be a thing, it'd be in the notice, because that's the worst usually at. I don't know if you guys know about that specific one. Not, like, if you go to the events and whatnot, on the big picture, on the very bottom, they have, like, minor bug things. And usually the updates as well. But a lot of the bug things, uh, like bug patches or little issues that happen, aren't posted in the main section. It's directly under that. Go check on that. Wow, I got them plus two. Zeb, what? <laughs> we'll take him out with an awaken skin for him. Let's go check it out. I'm better at explaining things when I'm looking at it. <laughs> Three big events, which, accordingly, is all of these are active. All of what? Not all of these. My bad. The events are live until the end of this date, which is um, uh, till the 11th, which is a pretty long time. That's awesome. Like, 50% off anyone who awakens until the 11th. That's, they're giving a million gold for anyone who had a chance to awaken right now. Which is kind of like, ah, you just awaken right before that, that kind of sucks. But still, I mean, that's that's a really long time for this event. Unless I'm reading this wrong, the 30th until the 11th, these, and then directly under that it says the Awakening Hero cost, is, like, and Guild Honor, which is less important, but still, that's 5k and what is it, like 10 days? Yeah. It's like above 50k and just... Saving gold for the guild honor if you're using the 10 key one. That's still something. And But a million gold if you manage to awaken? Like what I just did? The, I wouldn't have been able to awaken Zeb. But this chained in with today specifically? That was just awesome. And these rewards just came out of nowhere. I didn't expect it, that to pop up. Along with the usual, like in my opinion, the best event that comes around regularly. I was hoping one of these would come along. I haven't been able to do one of these in a while. But it appears in the event mission. It's always over here. 
Oh yeah, I was going to show you what I noticed that. But yeah, this is the rainbow mission. I will get to that other thing in a second. Yeah, it's just zero, 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 but it's still active. Still getting points for some reason. Yeah, like I was at zero or like one, and then I got uh, points for upgrading me heroes. Down, 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 down. Yeah, but they appear right down here. So it's kind of easy to miss that, but some interesting things pop up here every once in a while. But that's not really that interesting. It's just that there was an issue, and then people who have that specific rune are going to get compensated for it. But So that's there, in case uh, you guys didn't know about that. Ah, I hate when this thing appears. Go away. Like, there it is. Christ day. <laughs> How am I going here? It's just up. Oh, that means I can do the last stage in Rune Dungeon now. I really need to turn off voices. <laughs> like, you're always watching from the darkness. How could someone miss you? Your skin tone. No. You also glow a little bit. Or if you happen to proc, you would be seen. What the heck? I have the volume down. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's a huge different in difference in tone of voice or expression, whatever you want to call it, than what I just heard. I don't ever play with sound on except for I'm recording. Mine sounds okay, but yeah, I had some stuff structured for this, but then this happened and I. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully, be able be able to do um, two now. I want to actually, cause I'm not sure how to do this setup because I've ran this setup for a while. So, even though it's not uh, really in my situation, I'm just gonna mm, now nah, do it myself. I was going to go check some of the top arena people, but I'll just try it out myself. I have one attempt here. One attempt to fight somebody. That guy, okay. Like Luster, like Luster. You will murder me if my ult is not proc and you a spot lane. So Lan is dead. Probably. Wait a minute, that could work to my advantage. The, oh, they did patch the thing where it was, hmm, where the, the heal the melee people. Forgot about that. What am I doing? I'm going to go here to do this. It looks pretty tough. Even though Zeb is not ready to be in here. Let's just try something here. I don't remember the exact order. I've had that order for so long, the siren, but let's give it a shot here. Let's go Lana Siren. Is it Liz mid or Zeb mid? I can't remember the positions right now. We'll go this. And then we need Cell to be in the back line. Oh, but Cell's going to be back line or Mister goes off. I'm going to go ahead and count on... Who do I want to go off first? Lana. I don't trust my Lana. We're going to go... With Mr. going off so quick, maybe go here. Although I don't know if it auto-procs if his heal goes off. Because I'm not used to running a healer. I haven't ran a healer in um in Arena in a long time. But just in case, that'll be fine. Oh, I'd rather him... I don't want him to go, since he has his own, I want him to be on the front line. We'll have to I'm going to have to test this out. I've been doing testing with my old team, this dynamic is much different. It feels weird. It's like I have a healer now, besides my two survival instincts. So I guess technically I've had a healer. Okay. It's like I've had Siren forever. Alright, Zeb. See some work. Did I mess that up? A sign didn't get CC'd, it didn't go off. I did something wrong. Is that my Zeb's fire zone? Suppose that went well. No. No. I could have sworn. What could I be wrong? He didn't get CC'd. Unless. Zeb overtook that, and something else happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put Scion first. I'll have to do that when I have more arena attempts to see what went funky there. 
the best defense ever. I've got really knocked down. I'm usually higher ranked in uh, arena attempts. People have been really playing. Oh. Yes. Almost there. Where is it at? There's one person that always catches me. Like, if I miss, like, if I sleep too long, where is she? I don't see him on here. There he is. Yellow Flash. Is he the number one or directly under me at the end of the season? Always. You stop that. DJ is still number one. Insomnion right behind him. Insomnion, right? I don't know if I'm saying that right. There we go. All right. And this still isn't available. Hopefully this will be available later today. Because I want to try and get that event done. It's especially troubling for those who don't get to get in guild battle that often. Hopefully the guild masters around the community will take note of this event. Instead of trying to go. Because if it comes like mid-season, I don't know if they're going to be fresh. But if it's like halfway through and it's like only a couple days left for some reason. I don't know if they do that. And if people want to get ranked up not put their lower levels in, that'd kind of be lame, because they'd miss out on all these rewards. Because you're, like, they're not, like, super OP or anything. Like, you didn't, like, what, like, it wouldn't hurt you that much to miss it, but, I mean, it's still really nice. A lot of currency. What, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, back up here. I only have a five awakened team though. That took forever. I got this four star pet. I I threw some growth potions to try and convince myself to use it, but I put it on. I was just like this. Like I got destroyed. Like I was like I'll have some more defense. See if I can tank this out in Devil's Tower or in Hell Mode and Scenario or Sky Island. And I was like this is just no. I need my damage. No thanks. But I'm sure he'll be pretty good for guild battle. Eventually I will use him. One day. And I did do one of those two star combos that I failed at in the last video. I got the wrecked one. Oh, nice. Someone got the raid hero. And a Tammy. I've seen so many Tammy, Snake Woman's, Liliana's, and a lot of Awakens yesterday. So. Ooh, someone awakened right after me. Oh, the light footstep. Well, speaking of other talent rerolls, I rerolled Lana like. I think two more times, or one more time since the last video. I think one more time, and you know the usual. Lana is destined never to have a skill. I'm gonna reroll Lan or Liz once and then get the oath, which I'm still happy with. I mean, Liz always carries my team. Liz MVP. Zion does a job distracting when not with his oath, but Liz is the real MVP. I would run you as leader, but that's ranked so new. And for those of you in Tower F, comment down below. To s I want to like see how everyone else is doing. Like some of these floors are tough. I was like, all right, I'm doing okay, and then I, you know, make a mistake, just kind of relax a little bit, and then I'm just like, oh, where did my health go? Like, what just happened? Like I was like, oh, it's a petrify, whatever. I'm just gonna try and um, uh, strafe around a little bit, and then go in with all my moves at once to take out all four. Or else I'm going to take too much damage, taking auto attack damage. And then I, my ult was proc, and then it went down for a second, and then I got petrified. I was like, all right, I'm going to get out of this, pop my heal, and then it just, boom, exploded. Like, that is some serious damage in this tower, and Mithy. Was, yeah. I was like, all right, your ult didn't proc, you're dead. Mithy spec too strong. And then Shanna, which is what I'm stuck on right now for the extra 450k, which would be kind of handy right now. Like, alright, he doesn't do that much auto attack damage, but I gotta kinda blow out all my cooldowns for Urk to get him down and then wait a little bit so I'm down on time, but you can't run away. Like, that spec is like, I'm gonna get you. One of those trimmers is gonna get you, and then it's gonna slow you down to a snail's pace, and then she's going to catch up to you. But, that'd probably be better off if I ran more than one actual CC, but it's working out. I will get up there. And maybe, especially with the Zeb heal, that'll give me a little bit of extra health and extra support steps. Although, it didn't change that much, but then again, he's not really 
all that great in stats, and I haven't got his items already, and he only has one rune. Wait a minute, I, I could have at least given him some of the other runes. I'm sorry, Zeb. I'll give you none. <laughs> and that'd be a little bit better. Also, I don't know if I did this on video or not, but I can't remember. And, like, this is a pretty good rune for Liz. My first three-star specific, so that was kind of nice. Really happy about that. As well as... I think this is an old one, but just great for scenario. Especially since she's so uh, powerful stat-wise. And this one's a little bit lackluster. I rerolled this a couple times trying to get one for support because her defense rune wasn't all that great. But this is nice. And the def melee defense down is nice for when she's, you know, carrying my team, the last one left, and you know, she's got Atlanta and Scion on her. Needs a little bit more uh, tankiness. Hmm, nice. Eventually I'll put this to 6,000, this to 40k. HP went up a lot, but HP doesn't matter that much. Someone else get something? Nope, okay. Oh, nice. I haven't rolled that in a while. I wonder how often that's rolled. It seems like it's happening like every other 30 minutes, according to chat. But then again, there's a lot of people playing. So, try and, uh, well, I guess, tr at least I'm going to say try and awaken, but uh, try and take advantage of these events. Oh, I never went into the original one. The original one. I want to see the secondaries. Yeah, hero combination is the gem off. Oh, disassembly. If you got any. This isn't good advice, but. I'd do it for certain heroes, like if you didn't need them, like like for that uh, Kale, if I still needed the first dude in scenario, the first boss, and 110, Kyle, him, if I still needed a Scion, or if I was really close to Shanna, or I still needed my Lana, I'd probably disassemble him, because I'm just not going to use him, but that's, in, like, it depends on your situation, you really shouldn't disassemble heroes early, because you're going to need them for other things, but if you have like a surplus of human heroes for the, the fodder dungeon and you know you're not going to use it like you just have that warp back there and you're never going to use them or that same warrior holy you can go ahead and disassemble that if you needed certain specific a grade heroes you want to cause that's, a, that's a decent chance two chances at it and it's it's the discount day so if there's any day you're going to do it it'd be the day and the costume upgrade which is that's why i never remember it okay yeah, Ruby Evolution Hero Upgrade and Extreme Upgrade are the important ones. Technically, the other ones do, but I just never... Okay, I did it for that my first Lana, but I usually try not to do that. Because refreshes and for skin packs that I shouldn't buy because I only have one of the champions awakened. But I'm probably going to awaken all those champions eventually because they're all pretty decent. Especially Reyna for Fairy Dungeon. And usually come across her quite often, especially in selectives, which, by the way, hopefully you guys had good luck in your selectives. They did pass that off last night, I believe. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Got a selective hero. I rolled my first actual Shanna in her six-star version. I originally just only had a five-star version. Technically, I had... Now I have official attack to win. It's just that most of it is awakened. <laughs> so that doesn't work anymore. Runes are looking a little light now. That looks like a, my closest... Well, it's still Peace, because I got so stacked on Peace runes. Except for Peace rune 2. Poor Peace rune 2. But besides Peace, I think my closest is probably Boss Raid. Which will happen eventually. I'm going to awaken, like, the worst one. Just because. I can't do that, though. Siren has been too much of an influence. A good influence. Ah. Alright, what else do we have here? Big notice. I think that's pretty much it. There were a couple other things I wanted to talk about, but all I can. I'm still. Like, I know what happened a while ago. Every time I go to Zeb, I'm just like, there's the zone. <laughs> ah. Maybe I will reroll his items. I am the worst person, like, at saving things, because I still need 100 rupees, but I have six days. An arena uh, with some gems, so I don't have to get saved up to 1,600 gems. I can be light on refreshes. I think I can afford one. Yeah. 
still don't know which one to go for, though. I'm gonna go probably defense. I mean, it breaks the prophecy set, which loses me two seconds. But that's not all that great, and still the set on this is really nice. 22% odd rate, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and roll an armor for him. Eh, why not? Worst gambler ever. Must never go to a casino. But he would just play penny slots for hours. And stay away from everything else. Okay. Wrong place again. Oh crap, I think I forgot to do distorted yesterday. Maybe. Um, I'm still a little bit uh, dumbfounded. It is kind of early. But I'm sure you guys are used to that by now. Not to say that it should be condoned. Armor, yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, that's right. Yeah, because you can buy 14, right? Ooh, okay. It was meant to be. Yeah, go. Well, technically, accessory is still nice because even if I get another, si well, if I get another silence fear curse, I'm gonna have to put it on Lana. But if not, if it rolls bad, then the HP extra is not gonna be that great. But it does increase his healing. But I'd rather have him more defense, giving me more defense, taking less damage. But I think it's more exciting to roll an accessory. <sighs> yeah, I roll the accessory. Okay. 14, 14? Yeah. Meant to be. That's a lot of boss raid. Alright. Haven't drew an item in a while. Let's see what we got here. A three step. Every time I roll a ring that doesn't have like a super superior like magic effect and isn't a harmony ring. That's like not a side item. I just can always consider this like, oh, but still, increase melee, attack speed, mobility, and then the poison resist. But we did get dark magic, which with my Liz, uh, Liz Lannistan will help him out with that. And it's a low one, so I'm kind of happy. Like, I'm not saying like I wouldn't like a good one, but it's just if I rolled a good one, I wouldn't use it and I would put it on Lana because hers is a little bit lackluster right now. But good ring. Or okay ring, and I believe that HP is pretty high. Go ahead and put that on him. It was weird. Finally have a full awakened team. Okay, just to make sure. Alright, Prophecy, you've been good. Here you go, it's Zeb. Mm, yes. Okay, so I just like how I have one of each up there. Gotta take off this prophecy. That's all. There's five sets, right? Can't remember right now. Cool. Now they're just kind of just like sitting here. Not really the armor. They're there, but like the Lion King rings are real. I think I've rolled two of those now. I know I've rolled one for sure off the three to six item draw from the dice. Like, here you go. Lion's King ring. You stop that. But don't. Cause even if I'm not going to use them, I still like collecting as you can clearly tell, for all my six star heroes are equipped with items. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep this collection for no apparent reason. Yeesh, that HP is high. Jesus, if I use the other pet, which I'm not because Kano is amazing. Alright. That is a pretty nice heal there. I like it. Maybe that little bit of extra survivability to be able to beat the power I'm on now. Uh, get the gold and be able to upgrade it more. Well, today has been a we're like this is the best, probably not content-wise, but the best awakening video for me, at least luck-wise. Besides when I rolled those accessories uh, for my Scion and my Liz, uh, special effect-wise, but did not expect this to go like this, especially after my uh, RNG in the last video. But I suppose that's kind of how RNG works. Never really know when it's going to be good, bad, or just kind of neutral. Whew.
But I hope you guys are having a good day. And... I forgot my, uh, my little outro there for a second, and now I can't think of it. But I still hope you guys are having a good day. Just in general. I'm in a happy mood. <laughs> Things are going well. The weather, life, friends and family, all that stuff. But that's it for now. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.